Matt Coates here with manager Mitch Carriger after a big game against the Brewster Whitecaps. Coach, 8-6 to six victory. Got three runs to take the lead there in the bottom of the six. From my standpoint, it looked like a very Harbor Hawk way to take the lead. What did you see out of your team there to grit through there? Yeah, I think some really good walks, like you said, kind of the way we do things. Um, you know, some of them were kind of just freebie walks, and some of them were grinded out, like take some good pitches that the guys threw, fouled some pitches off, find a way to get on, and then Silva comes up with the big hit to kind of bust it open a little bit. So uh, proud of our guys for grinding it out and finding a way to get the lead there. Coach, talk to me about Kane Kepley. He showed an ability to make an impact through a variety of ways. Home run early in the game, then beats out a double play in that bottom of the sixth inning we were just talking about. What do you see from him as a complete player? Yeah, I think you know he can do a lot of different things. Like you said, um, he has the ability to hit the ball over the fence, uh, and then his speed just kills. And so um, it's good to see both sides of it, and uh, we like having him at the top of our lineup. Coach, very interesting past few days here for the team. You had one an off day yesterday, a game the day before that, and an off day the day before that. Not something you get in Cape very often. After an emotional victory the other day, how did you get the guys to come back ready to compete today? Yeah, we had a lot of guys come out for some early work yesterday on the off day, um, you know, which was good to see. They still wanted to get better a little bit, and so, uh, and I felt like they were rested tonight. I felt like they had some good energy when they got to the field. Um, and you know they were ready to play, so I'm proud of them for that. It's not easy to do when you, you've had an off day. Um, hopefully we can continue this into this next six games that we have in a row. Coach, talk to me about Josh Ox. Came in today in the top of the ninth inning, first time pitching in the ninth for your squad. One, two, three inning helps you get the victory. Yeah, I think we're really comfortable giving him the ball there at the end with the lead. Um, he's done it before, um, and he showed that he has the ability to do it. Very composed on the mound, threw a lot of strikes. Uh, so I thought he did a really good job. Coach, lastly, I got to ask, is it you or the players who like staying in these close games? Because I feel like my heart rate's been racing the past few times. Yeah, you know, I, I would like to beat teams by seven, eight, nine runs, but uh, apparently they like to keep people at the yard for a little bit longer, and uh, hopefully that helps out the concession stand a little bit. And um, No, it's fun. Anytime we win close games, we're really proud of our guys, and um, I think it's good for us in the long run. Perfect. Thank you, Coach. Sideline reporter Josie Broyles here with Kane Kepley after a Harbor Hawk win. Kane, you had some good plays today, but it was also a really close game. What do you usually strategize with when there are games like this, when their anticipation is high and it's a little bit up and down? Just winning every single pitch. That's that's the mindset every single time, no matter if it's a, a close game or a wide margin game. We're, we try to win every single pitch, compete every single pitch, and try to win a, as many as of them, many as them as we can, and uh, we did it tonight. Yeah, and as one of the stronger players on the team, you know, we're getting close to the playoffs. It's midseason. How do you think you're going to go on after this point as a team? What do you think is going to happen? I mean, we're just going to keep putting together wins. That's what we try to do. I mean, we're, we're up here to, to play at our best, and hopefully we can get wins with that. And, and no matter where we are in the season, we're going to try to win every single time. I know you guys have been having a really good time on the Cape regardless. I just watched you sign a ball for a kid, which is really sweet. What's been your favorite part so far, especially when it comes down to the community and everything? Oh, gosh, summer ball is so fun. I mean, you get to meet so many guys from so many different places and make new friends, lifelong friends with that, and, and you meet the fans here. There's there's a good crowd every single time. And make a, make a kid's day by signing a ball, I'll do that every single time. Yep. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you.